Okay, what is up, everybody? I tried recording this video before, and for some reason we had audio issues. I don't know what it is. I think I've got it solved. Hopefully, I'm going to try and watch this video again. But today is a quick little tutorial, quick tip video, which is really good. Um, we're going to be talking about Nanite tools. All right, so right now, one of the challenging things is obviously if you want to change something in Nanite, you got to click on the object. Let me go ahead and click on the object here. And then what you need to do is, is you need to obviously go to the object. And when you go to the object, you got to right click Nanite, turn it on, um, or you got to you know, actually open up the model and try and do that. Well, there is a little quick panel here called tools and we go to Nanite tools. And in here we can go under optimize and we can perform an audit. Now there are some things here that I will note because some of the things have changed in 5.1. I don't know if this is a bug or if this is whatever, but it says unsupported features here. Um, but we're going to really first look at the triangle threshold. The triangle threshold is 64 uh, thousand triangles. So that means anything above this amount, above, will come up and show up here. Anything below will not. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it at 64,000. Let's turn off these supposedly unsupported features, even though they are supported. And then you can see a lot more show. You can see the instances they have and the LODs. And then this is going to actually save us quite a bit. So I'm going to with all of them checked, I'm going to go ahead and hit Enable Nanite. And just give it a second. Wait till all of Nanite goes ahead. It doesn't. There you can see everything got removed from the list. Uh, you will have errors because obviously of the these errors, the world position offset. But I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so now everything is Nanite. And we can see that by going here, Lit. I'm going to go Nanite Visualization. And then Triangles. And you can see everything well not everything got changed and the reason why not everything got changed was because of our triangle limit so if you look at our uh objects here so for example you've got these objects here these have a very very low triangle limit and that's why they did not get transferred if you want them to get transferred what you would do then is lower that limit right so if you go under optimize we can lower this limit to like you know 2500 and hit enter and then all of a sudden now now you're getting more you know what i mean more things that are showing up there um but i'm not going to go ahead and do it but it just shows you what type of things you can do and how quick uh you know you can do it so just want to say thanks guys for watching that's a quick tip if you guys want more videos um you know i mean Please let me know in the comment what you guys like to see. Anything, anything in particular, Nanite or anything new from the new Unreal Engine. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. And thank you guys once again for the 500 subscribers. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much.